Let's take a look here at Application Insights, and this is an application performance management service. So it's an APM and it's a subservice of Azure Monitor. Let's talk about what APMs are. So these are monitoring and, and uh, uh, they do monitoring and management of performance and availability for software apps. APM strives to detect, diagnose complex application performance problems to maintain an expected level of performance. So why use Application Insights? Well, it automatically detects performance anomalies and includes powerful analytics tools to help you diagnose issues and to understand what users do with your app, designed to help you uh, continuously improve uh, performance and usability, works for apps for .NET, Node.js, Java, Python, hosted on on-premise, hybrid, or any uh, public cloud. And I know that it works for uh, other ones that are not part of the supported languages. So there's one for Ruby. But the thing is, is like um, Azure's only providing official support for a bunch of languages, but you might still have libraries out there for them. And it integrates with your DevOps processes and can monitor, analyze uh, telemetry from mobile apps by integrating with Visual Studio App Center. And if you're running an app, you definitely want to have an APM installed. If you ever use Datadog or Skylight or New Relic, that's what APMs are or what those um, providers offer. But let's take a closer look here. And this is kind of an example of uh, an application. And what you're gonna see is that uh, we have a front end, a back end and workers just to kind of represent uh, how you can instrument your applications. And when we say instrument, it just means install like this piece of code that runs on it to send data back to a uh, application insights. Uh, and the idea is that when you instrument it, you're just installing the instrument uh, package SDK, or in some cases, you can just turn it on where it's supported. So you don't necessarily uh, have to install it in an app. You might just press a button and it will uh, install it within uh, Azure services. And there's many ways that you can view your telemetry data. So the idea is that the agents send that information to application insights, and then you're gonna be able to leverage that in alerts, Power BI, Visual Studio, REST API, continuous exports. A lot of a lot of services can ingest application insights. So apps can be instrumented from anywhere. So if, if you're running on AWS, you can install it on your servers there. Uh, when you set up application insights monitoring for your web apps, you create an application insight resource in Microsoft Azure. So it's a physical resource. And you open this resource in the Azure portal in order to see and analyze telemetry collected from your app. And the resource is identified by the instrumentation key, also known as the I key. And I just got a big old list here just to tell you all the things you can do with it. So what does Application Insight monitor? Well, request rates, response time, failure rates, dependency rates, response times, failure rates, ex exceptions, page views, load performance, Ajax calls, user and sessions count, performance counters, host diagnostics, diagnostic trace uh, logs, custom events metrics. Uh, uh, so there you go, that's a big old list. Uh, and on the right hand side is where can I see my telemetry? And we saw a little list, but let's go through the big list. And that's uh, smart detection, manual alerts, application map, profiler, user uh, usage analysis, diagnostic search for instance data, metrics explorer for aggregated data, dashboards, live metric streams, analytics, visual studio, snapshot debugger, power BI, rest API, continuous export. And there you go. So you can see that it can collect and you can use it in a lot of places. Definitely, definitely install if you're using or you're running a web application.